Right, what you've just crossed over is, uh, is a bridge, but it doesn't feel like a bridge. It feels like an attractive piece of public realm. It's a grade. What used to happen is, as you came out where it says Paradise Forum, you used to have to go down a series of steps and under a very unattractive, probably one of the worst uh, subways um, originally, and then come steps back up because the road had priority. So what this bridge has done is opened up this area and made this connection from the ICC and Brindley Place right through the city and down towards Full Ring. And what we're trying to do as a city council is, in, is increase those walkways and routes and, uh, and, and, and create a really attractive pedestrian network throughout the city. So, and that's going to help with the regeneration. And the Paradise Circus redevelopment is really part of that and starts to, to bring back um, new public spaces, new vistas, a lot of legibility because you'll be able to make uh, eyeline connection from, from some of our key buildings. So that's one of the key elements to it. And the library building, the old library building, which was by uh, John Maiden, a, a local architect, it is controversial. Some people love it. It's, it is one, it's a Marmite building. Some people love it. The majority of the public don't love it. And Although it looks very impressive from certain angles, what it does, it, it does sit across those routes that we want to make, the connections that we want to make, and it certainly is not fit for purpose. So there always needed to be a new library. And if I refer back to our first site that we visited with Glenn, and Glenn talked about there being uh, a plan for a new library by Richard Rogers in Eastside, and the reason that, that the location was changed was obviously a change of, of power in the local authority, and another perfectly logical and justifiable uh, reason for, for, for having the library in the civic centre was, was made, that, that justification was made, because uh, we have a number of cultural facilities up here, the ICC, we've got the canals, we've got the Rep Theatre, and we've got the Museum and Art Gallery, we've got the Town Hall. So there was a very strong logic for having uh, a civic library up here. So if we move on now, I'll, we'll get to the library and have a look at it. brought you here because that gives you a picture of the finished building. The architects are Mekanu, uh, a Dutch company. They, they, they won uh, a competition to design the new library. It's, uh, it's a scheme which is uh, relatively high cost, 100 and, uh, 190 million pounds plus, uh, and it's going to deliver us uh, a world-class library. It also uh, links in with the Rep Theatre, so it includes a complete refurbishment of the Rep Theatre as well, including new studios, uh, a new studio theatre within it, and, uh, and, and what it gives us is a library which is, which is right for the modern age. It, it includes digital, uh, digital library, it includes um, exhibition areas, it includes conferencing, it has fantastic outdoor terraces which overlook the square, and it includes right on the very top of it uh, the historic Shakespeare Library. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the scale of the library within the square, I think is right. Uh, I think it's right to have this sort of sense of enclosure. I think it's right that we get a, we get a good series of buildings along, along this edge of the square. The architect's concept was, was three palazzos, and, and, and Baskerville House was the first of them. The, uh, the rep was the second of them and the new library was the middle one with that step up in the middle. So we're getting nine stories, uh, children's library, business library, digital library, all those sort of functions within the building. But we're also getting three stories of, uh, of, of storage of the, um, of, of the reference library, if you like, Birmingham's archive. So not only will, uh, do we keep, for the moment, a world-class uh, photography collection, but again, a world-class uh, literary connect connection as well. Any questions on Just, on anything? Are they tidying it up at all? Oh yeah, okay, oh, it is. Yeah, I mean they're reglazing it. They're, they're glazing. Yeah, they're glazing. No, they're reglazing, cleaning, Under. taking away the staircase, improving the bar, yeah. improving the reception area, and essentially reception um, becomes on a on a whole glazed frontage along here. So so it's shared with the library. So that's and and there'll be areas that people sit around. Potentially, sort of sponsored areas as, as, as well, where people can, you know, do do whatever, you know, digital media, phones, that sort of stuff. So it could be a, 
could be a very interesting development on that ground level. So, I mean, what we're what we're guaranteeing is there's a sort of uh, a string of activity across the front of the square, rather than just being single doorways. Any plans on the other side? Yeah, that's uh, that's the arena central development, and so yeah, this building will go. That building stays, obviously. Uh, that's a listed building, but essentially in the middle of of there, there's another public square. There are proposals already for hotels, offices, um, and it, it, it takes over what used to be the old central TV site, and that leads you on down through to uh, um, towards the mailbox. Okay, so that, which is another very exciting and the cube, very exciting, you know, project that's happened in Birmingham over the over the past few years. Uh, to walk from Symphony Hall to Paradise, practically undercover. Um, well, you can, <laughs> what would you want to? There will be. Well, Just well, actually, 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 this this front piece projects out over, so you'd be you'd be yeah. sheltered there because yeah. you can see where you know the the, the front yeah. is set back to that row of columns here. But um, yeah, those those. Um, See the, the the red columns there are they're dummies. They'll they'll come away. There's a cantilever there. So so the front is the is the next set of columns, back, concrete ones. Yes, there's there's going to be an entrance on the corner, and you could walk right the way through and come out. Yes.